Hello friends back to problem analysis it's me Jesse if you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry and the properties of angles inside a circle then here is an interesting problem consider a circle of diameter 4 units now a chord is drawn that is perpendicular to the diameter using this chord construct a square as shown in the figure now draw this line segment that connects one end of the chord and the nearer end of the diameter. Suppose the angle of this line segment with respect to the baseline of the square is 75 degree. Then my problem is what is the perimeter of the square? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First let's give some notations to each vertex. The square is denoted by ABCD, the diameter is denoted by MN and the center of the circle is denoted by O. Now let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the diameter of the circle is 4 units. Secondly, one side of the square is a chord of the circle that is perpendicular to the given diameter mn and finally angle cdn is equal to 75 degree now remember what is our aim of this problem it is nothing but to find the perimeter of the square this is the structure of our problem so always keep in mind now how can we find this perimeter as we know for a square, the perimeter is equal to 4 times the side length. So we have to find the side length of the square. Now note two things which are immediate from the given values. First one is, radius of the circle is diameter divided by 2 equal to 2 units. And the second one, angle ADN equal to 90 degree minus 75 degree that is equal to 15 degree. Next, we have to note two important properties of angles inside a circle. Property 1. Every angle on a fixed arc will be the same. Consider a circle. Mark two points A and B on the circle. In particular, take the major arc AB. Now mark some points P, Q and R on this arc. Then the fact is, angle P, angle Q and angle R will be of same degree. Now property 2. The angle on a major arc is half of the angle with the center. Consider a circle centered at the point O. Now mark two points A and B on the circle. Take the major arc AB and mark a point Q on this arc. Then the fact is that angle at O is equal to 2 times the angle at Q. Coming back to the problem, we have angle ADN equal to 15 degree. Now observe the major arc AN of the circle. So angle ADN is an angle on this arc. Now draw the line AM. Note that angle AMN is also an angle on this arc. Hence by the property 1, angle AMN is equal to angle ADN which is equal to 15 degree. Now draw the line DM. Due to the symmetry of the figure, we can conclude that angle DMN is also equal to 15 degree. Then by combining the 15 degree angles, we get angle AMD is equal to 30 degree. Now draw the radii OA and OD. And then observe the angles angle AMD and angle AOD. As you can see, angle AMD is the angle on the major arc AD and angle AOD is the angle on the center. Then by the property 2, we get angle AOD is equal to 2 times angle AMD that is equal to 60 degree. Now observe the triangle AOD. We have OA equal to OD equal to 2 units since both are the radii of the circle. Therefore, triangle AOD is an isosceles triangle and hence by the property of isosceles triangles, 
angles opposite to equal sides are also equal. That is, angle A equal to angle D, which is equal to 180 minus 60 divided by 2, equal to 60 degree. So, all the angles are 60 degree. And hence, triangle AOD is an equilateral triangle, which means all the sides of triangle AOD are equal. And therefore, AD equal to 2 units. Now everything is done. We have AD is the side length of the square, which we got 2 units. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 4 times side length equal to 4 times 2 equal to 8 units. That is, the perimeter of the square is equal to 8 units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.